Hi folks, welcome back to the Tactic Zone, where today we're looking back on Rangers 1-0 win over Aberdeen, and again that left Ibrox boss Michael Beale scratching his head over issues in a number of key areas. Now starting with a recognised centre forward in the ranks, instead deploying Yanis Hadji as a kind of false nine behind Ravi Matondo and Fashion Sakala, it was always going to be tricky for Rangers to break down the Dons. Uh, Ridvan Yilmaz you know, might not be as reliable as Bona Barisic with his deliveries, for instance. But the left back has actually turned back here and he's actually shaking his head in frustration after shaping up to go down the line and putting a cross. Only to find that none of the nominal front three were making a run across behind or beyond their markers. That natural centre forward movement just wasn't there. I mean, there were moments when Sakala and Matando played more like a traditional strike pairing closer together, creating a couple of chances by linking up. There's one little flick through there. Um, this one here is a really beautiful little back heel flick by Matondo. So when they got closer together, there were options. But the absence of a penalty box predator really showed. Here we see Matondo skinning his man and driving at the byline. But as he delivers a teasing cross, you know, Johnny Hayes very nearly puts the ball into his own net, hits the bar with an absolute screamer. But know how both Aberdeen defenders are goal side of the Rangers forwards. Natural strikers just crash that area, get in front of their men, because they know that something positive is likely to happen if they get a first touch on the ball. Rangers still had moments. Uh, Sakala was just offside here. Uh, from Todd Cantwell's pass and Cantwell's strike from a James Tavernier corner to take the lead was certainly sweet. As much as Beale talked about his team being wasteful though, he would have been equally concerned by their lapses at the other end of the park. This is one of the early chances for Aberdeen, who had probably had better chances than Rangers in some respects. Ben Davis is gambling on winning a ball that was probably Bojan Miofsky's all the way. Fast forward a bit, was Majowski's pass to Duke over hit by half an ounce? Possibly. But Robbie McCrory, who had a really fine game, did well to narrow the angle further and deny Aberdeen's most potent goal threat in Duke. I mean, Duke was a constant menace. You know, whether that be chasing an apparently lost cause to generate a strong penalty appeal. Or catching Davis and Goldson flat footed to race in on goal, only to miss the target. Look at Davis and Goldson's positioning there. They both suck right up into the opposition half, very flat. The ball gets lost, and that's nothing spectacular from Miofsky. It's just a little chip ball over the top, ends with a one on one. Now, although Aberdeen sat deep at times, there were some interesting aspects to their approach, um, especially with this weekend's visit to Celtic to Ibrox in mind. You could see them here pressing at the goal kick, which eventually sees possession conceded. Um, they did that a couple of times, just got a little bit higher on top of Rangers, asked them to play through them. Rangers would often get two, three passes and then it would break down. And as always, I mean, there was space to be exploited on the counter with better decision making. Hayes has a chance to send this ball out to the right, goes the other direction, opportunity wasted. In conclusion then, on a very odd day all round, with events elsewhere rendering this match meaningless, Beal was left looking and sounding very frustrated, understandably so. He's yet to beat Celtic as Rangers manager. Former assistant to Stephen Gerrard admits he's already looking forward to pre-season when new additions will open up different possibilities in how his team play. A bona fide striker is obviously a priority, but not the only one. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't, get on Twitter, find me at Johnny the Greek to tell me exactly where I went wrong. Keep checking out Record Online Sport for all your top football coverage.